Hey guys, BigSquareRoadRoader.com. Uh, I got to give an update on Vertasium. Supposedly, the SEC is going after him. Um, basically, for not filing as a security. Every everything I hear in the complaint. If I, see, I haven't even seen the complaint. I've seen something, but I haven't seen anything from the SEC itself. So you know, just keep that in mind. Um, but. Yeah, Veritasium, here's the deal for all, this would cover all ICOs. So if, if there was any ICOs, if, if Veritasium can't prove that it wasn't an ICO, it, it, it literally registered with the SEC in 2014 as a, it's right here, notice of exempt offering of securities. It was exempt. If the SEC didn't agree with them, they should have come back and said in 2014, no, you're not exempt. This is a security. This is the 2014 document. But that's not the argument. The SEC's come supposedly, according to this article, which is wrong. This article's wrong, so I, it might just be the reporter got his facts mixed up. Uh, it says the SEC requests freeze on assets in connection with alleged $15 million ICO fraud. Uh, filed a complaint against New York-based man and his two companies. SEC alleges that these entities conducting fraudulent ICOs. And they link, they link this Hindenburg research. That's not even Veritasium. The ICO was not from late 2017 to 2018. I, I don't even know what this article is, is thinking, but uh, people are reacting to this. I, I don't know. But there is a link to this. Filed on 8 12 2019. Um, I haven't heard anything. It looks legit, but I don't know. But if it, if it is legit, Reggie will fight it in court um, with the jury. So here's the deal the entire crypto space was screaming at the SEC to put some kind of parameters around what an ICO, what a security was in the context of cryptocurrencies. They did not. They did not for years. The only thing they did was in July, late July of 2017. That was three months after Reggie Middleton's ICO had already closed in May. So they're going to retroactively, they're going to not do anything for years when everybody was screaming for it. Finally, come out with a a uh, it wasn't it was it was a ruling on the Dow after it went down in late July of 2017. So nobody, if if this holds, if something like this holds, I'm just saying, every single ICO that ever happened that didn't register as a security would be taken down by the SEC, according to. Their rules, they're trying to retroactively enforce. Yes, this is one to fight. This is one the community should stand up and say, what the fuck? You're gonna, the SEC is going to try to rule on what's a security before they gave any guidance at all to the community? I don't know. But it is what it is right now. Veritasium's trading at six bucks. Uh, no, I'm not selling my Veritasium. I'll fight it with Reggie. Uh, the SEC is criminal and corrupt. But you see, this is another thing. Yes, they're criminal and corrupt. Yes, they are complete frauds. Yes, they are idiots. But yes, they still have power. So we'll see how this goes. I cannot uh, imagine if if uh, if Veritasium is, loses in a battle against the SEC about what is an ICO or what is an, a, a security, every single ICO that did not register as a security would fall in the same bucket. So, I mean, it was, Reggie was clearly running a company. It's up and running. It's still running. He's working every day hard on it. So, I uh, yeah, that's where we stand. I don't know more. And this might be a fake document. I don't know. I don't, you know, it looks pretty legit to me. And uh, I, I want to see what Reggie has to say about it. Uh, he hasn't said anything, so it probably is legit. Um, and if it is legit, it comes down to 
uh, is were the ICOs securities offerings? If they were, that means all of them are. And the SEC will have to battle all of them. We'll see what happens. BigSquareRoadToRoot.com. Talk to you later.